What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am back with some more Age of Mythology the Titans action spawning in the right hand side of the map in the blue color playing as Ra. His name is Mage. His opponent today in the red color playing as Odin. His name he is uh, of course Grand Monster taking that first game uh, very very nicely with some Ra play on Alfheim. This is the Bill Gregg Open $1,000 Age of Titans tournament. Uh, round of 64 in uh, in that we had 60 participants and this is the first round so it was round of 64 four of those participants got a buys because there was not enough uh not enough games to go around so uh we continue here mage building his dock up we're gonna start getting those, those uh fishing ships out we'll see if they had have any um prepared strategy for this map this map is moat Moat, it's called moat because there is a gigantic amount of water around the outside of the map. And uh, and and it's not like Midgard. Midgard goes water to the very edge. On moat, you have some land on this side of the map, all the way around the moat. So we'll see if that comes into play here or not. Uh, oftentimes it's a very useful, um, it's very useful for players to to use it as a defensive maneuver they get attacked on the land and they lose their uh, gold mine or something they can transport ship over this side and grab some gold on the outside of the map or say if they are losing the middle of the map their home gold mine expires they can jump over here onto the outside and um and grab that gold mine uh so it, it is a, a nice option for uh prolonging the game a little bit longer and trying to make some comebacks happen um I guess the other thing about this map is there's really not that much fish. The fish is pretty spread out, as you can see. Fish here, fish here, fish here. You, you need to kind of dock each of these um, spawns of fish. And it's looking like there are only two spawns of fish per spawn. So it's like, this is a pretty pretty difficult map for, uh, for Norse and Greek and Atlantean. But for Egyptian, when you've only got 50 gold a fishing, uh, uh, a dock, they can spam out those docks and be in a really nice position because the, the fish are going to be very, very efficient. But there's not that much fish. So what can you do? All good there. More houses coming up. This, I wonder if we're going to see Mage. Um, looks like he's not going for the crazy boom. The crazy boom is four food, four wood, four gold, and then three or four wood. And you just build so many fishing ships out. You advance around the... Um, the 536 minute mark with 20 fish. Or he loses a villager there to the Auroch. That's absolutely unfortunate to say the very least. Um, <laughs> docks, another dog's coming up for mage, but you never want to see those villagers getting killed this early. Uh, Grand Monster's got his four fishing ship up right now. He's got his temple coming up in a bit of a weird position. Maybe gonna look to grab an early second town center and just go for the land boom. Or he might go for a fast heroic through Njord with a mountain giant push. Uh, it will be very, very potent on this map. Build a couple of longboats to force some longboats or cabinets out for mage and then um, and see what you can do. And we are seeing even more spam from these fishing ships. And they're going to be putting those docks up in the corners here. Temple is coming up for mage at this point and yes 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 what are we gonna see here from grand monster picks off the aurochs he's got a, a healthy amount of dwarves here and we are coming through freya so no heimdall kind of would have liked to see heimdall just in case he is gonna go for something uh sneaky but griddle of Apolita is here this one's pretty good get your throwing axeman a little bit of extra resistance always nice when they are counted by um actually it's hit points not resistance never mind but it's nice always good uh, we've got the uh ravens going to be checking around the back of the uh the moat i like this this one's just going to see uh if anything's being taken back here any sneaky shenanigans mage going through Qatar, no uh surprises there still a very very strong uh strong god to go through and, uh, and the uh, priest coming around here. The very interesting thing about this is if you rush down these docks here and you get some cabinets here, you can control this gold mine from uh, from the shore, but I don't think Grand Monster's seen that. So 
we're probably not going to see that. And Grand Monster looks like, yeah, he's going for this town center. He wants that town center up very, very fast. He's already got three Hursa and an Old Sark, more Hursa incoming. He does not care about the water one bit on this map. Uh, how many fish does Mage have is the question. This boom is pretty good. 14 fishing ships, right? It's pretty good. It's not amazing. He could grab an extra two, but he would, or an extra four up here or something like that. But he does need to think about grabbing per scene instantly here, which he has not done. He's throwing down the armory. We've got the Valkyrie moving in, gonna be trying to pick up this laborer. He should get into the town center and be completely safe. And that Valkyrie is just gonna run away with a little bit of a bruised ego right there. More villagers moving up onto the uh, the elk here. This does have quite a bit of hunt, so you can boom off this quite nicely with the uh, with the town center here. Uh, and the ox car needs to get in here. Does he have hunting dogs? He doesn't have hunting dogs. So this is this is a little bit slower. This is a little bit slower than otherwise would be, but he should be right just, just to spam these guys out. Throw up walls, get the boom happening. We don't see a second town center just yet for Mage. Mage going through Hathor going. One town center Hathor, I like it. I like one town center play as Egyptian. We don't see it enough. You can be, you can be very, very aggressive. And most players aren't ready for it. So we'll see if that's what Mage goes for, or if he's just going to throw down two down centers as soon as he hits that next age. Uh, considering he does have these back gold mines, which are back gold mines, build one transport ship, and it's much cheaper than building a Migdol stronghold to grab this gold mine. You could just grab this town center, grab this town center, and you've kind of secured your gold mine back here already just by going there. And the fact that Grand Monster has not gone for that many fishing ships. However, Grand Monster is going for that three town center. He's not built anything in terms of military here, apart from those initial, um, those initial Hursa. So he could be looking like a very fast Ragnarok here from Grand Monster. But the, uh, the answer to a fast Ragnarok is either a super aggressive Heroic Age or a fast Mythic Age themselves with some devastation to your opponent's uh, uh, villages with like a tornado or something like that. We are seeing the uh, Valkyrie taking a little bit of heat there. The other thing about uh, Norse, which is strong about on this map, which I didn't talk about before, is longboats um, can transport units. So you can transport your uh, your fishing ships, or not your fishing ships, your villages over to the outside and your ox cart without having to build a transport ship. And you can fight the water that way if you so chose. And more walls coming up for Grand Monster. So Grand Monster is really looking like a little bit of a rag here. He's got this nice back gold mine, but it is in range of cabinets, so it's not that nice. We see a locust come down, but it's not gonna pick off any of those villages. All the villages get back into the town center and the rock is gonna be forced away. We do have some boar back here that we can move to. A couple of really low HP villages though, so if you can get a Pastus Joss in there, as well as the Wadjid, you can probably pick off quite a few of those guys, but there is the Valkyrie over here to defend already. And now got the armor coming up for Grand Monster. We'll see if he can get to the Heroic Age without building too many military units. Migdol Stronghold now coming up. Second town setup for Mage is up. Has he got Persine yet? He does have Persine. Now we need Salt Amphora. These are the these are the economic upgrades which are ridiculously uh, uh, strong. Uh, Persine, Salt Amphora, twenty five percent followed by fifty percent. I believe that's what it is. No, thirty percent followed by 40%. You know, it's all the same, whatever. Um, but uh, it's so big in terms of their boost. When you think about boosts to uh, resources gathered, hand axe is 10%, pickaxe is 10%, plow is 10%, then you see 30% bonus. I know that uh, fish are already slow, so it's not as big as you think, but it, it, well, it is as big as you think, because if you don't have it, then you don't have it. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, we do see the Siege Towers coming out. We've got the uh, Camori Chariot Archer Army, but there's just not that many villages on the wood. Does he have Hand Axe yet? That's the question. Oh, he has Bowsaw and Shaft Mine. So his economy is looking pretty good here. And we see Skadi's coming through. So Skadi's going to be a really nice delay tactic against this. We see those shifting sands onto the villages. Oh, that's going to be huge. There's so many low HP villages here. If you can focus down those low HP villages, you can pick off quite a few of those. And that's pretty big. But is it going to be enough if that's the only damage he can do with these units at this point? These villagers can just jump onto something else. This does mean that this uh, board does not get finished. And if we check out the uh, food for Grand Monster, he's not going to be able to get to that 
Mythic Edge that he wants to go to super quickly. And this gold mine's being picked off, but um, or s stopped at this point from being gathered from. But there's a gold mine completely over the other side of the map, which is not being dealt with. Well, the villagers were looking like they wanted to move forward onto the Elks, but uh, Mage says, No, not today. You're not getting any more hunt. No more hunt for you. You're going to lose villagers as well. Uh, and now the big issue for Grand Monster is only two longhouses. And he's not building anything from them. He kind of has to build Raiding Cavalry to deal with this army, but he needs to get a massive Raiding Cavalry. And he needs to get... Um, and he needs to get, like, at least medium upgrades. He does not want to be building a throwing axe in here. We do have the, uh, the Frost Giant coming out. And that's going to force these siege towers back because you don't want to get the frost giant to use his special onto those siege towers because then he just kills them for free and it's not what you want to see market coming up oh sorry market and hill fort coming up so maybe we're going to see a grand monster attempt to get to the mythic age here he is being raided by these chariot archers and uh you don't want to be fighting with the dwarves just pull the dwarves back you'll be fine um maybe get your transport ship just get your transport ship. There is a there is a uh, gold mine over here, but he is scouting this out with the rock. Very nice play there from uh, from Mage. So that's um, that's smart. That's very smart. We are seeing that the uh, the the frost giants are out now, so he can move over here. Just a little bit of micro. Right click on the pursuit Joss. Right click on the Wadget, and then you win this fight very very quickly and very very easily. And there's the first right click and the second right click, and then oh no, missed the Wadget. That's fine. Should still win, but uh, you just missed the wedge. And then the uh, the Valkyrie will clean up the other guy, and the rest just clean up the uh, last the pursuit Joss. And then he gets this gold line back. We do see the siege towers coming in, but they don't have any backup. Where's the rest of your army? You're using these heavy chariots really, really nicely made to pick off this gold line, but you cannot be moving forward with these siege towers without without backup. And you're losing your pharaoh as well. We see another temple coming up here, which is potentially to get those frost giants out. And now the siege towers are gonna have to get out of here, but frost giant number one uses his special and kills this guy and then maybe get the other frost giant to kill the other siege tower. Not gonna happen just yet. That's fine, but uh, he is gonna pick off some more of those blue units from mage huge raid coming in though from uh from mage picking off a lot of villages this is not what you want to be seeing if you're uh if you're an odin fan uh every villager you lose is a potential uh hero of ragnarok you're not gonna have and grand monster is spamming villages out and there is the ragnarok coming in baldur is on its way uh, so basically Grand Monster is just going to be trying to, uh, trying to hang on here for dear life, uh, in terms of these villages. He's got so many villages over here, but the question is, is he going to be able to gold starve? There's 3000 gold left in this gold mine. There is a gold mine over here, gold mine over here, and there's no real way for Grand Monster to get over there. He does need to think about getting out a transport ship, but before he casts Balder at the very least, just at the very least, just so he can, um, Get the uh, get the Ragnaros to run around the outside and um, do that do that stuff. We see another raid coming in onto these villages. They're going to be retreating into that town center as soon as they can. But I don't think they're all going to be able to get in there. They're not going to be able to get in there. Uh, and he manages to save that last that last wolf and the uh, Huskal coming in now. This is a really good counter now for uh, this army. Huskal and um, and Frost Giants is going to be enough to clean this up but there's just pretty fast and they're going to be running around doing quite a lot of stuff here and now we have heavy axemen out for mage major is kind of preparing for this ragnarok really well he's got two barracks he needs more barracks he's got a couple of watchtowers up already nothing over here got a migdol stronghold coming up does he have um he's got masons but he doesn't have mud brick I need to think about getting mud brick and um and architects as soon as you possibly can ragnarok does come down instantly for grand monster and this is going to force mage back at this point uh there's we'll see we'll see what he does we're seeing barracks coming up still no transport ship out for mage just yet which is actually just like it's actually quite a big issue because if he doesn't have it out he has to wait for it to come out when he decides he wants to go to that edge gold uh, but the hero Ragnarok's are coming in. He's got army coming into everywhere, hitting this location. Probably don't want to attack this location with that many watchtowers. How's the gold situation for Mage coming in? He's got 500 gold in the bank. Let me try and pick off some of these priests uh, and Pharaoh to, to stop them doing damage to the uh, 
to the fire giants that are incoming fortified town centers comes down no architect still no mud brick more barracks coming out just trying to spam out as many of those axemen as you possibly can but just remember if you have the axemen out fire giants do a lot of damage they do hack damage and the uh the axemen do have quite a bit of armor here with the bronze armor but it's just so much damage just so much damage is it is it hack yeah it is hack and crush so it's it's, it's quite a bit of damage you see rain coming down so that means no frost can happen but where's the all oh, the army's up here so we're just trying to run away from the army at this point you can frost an army and then go for villages as well it's always an option we do see this town center is gonna fall how's grand monsters can't be going oh, this is so all in if he can't if he if mage defense here without losing too many villages which is looking like he may be able to do um this, there's so many units still alive for mage here. It's 152 to 227. He loses both town centers, gets a couple of mercenary out. Um, but he has to pick up all of this army and then the reinforcements as well. Uh, looking like this is probably a, not the best place for mage to be fighting here. You want to be fighting. You want to basically be fighting underneath your towers if you can help it. The nice micro there from Grand Monster saving the uh, the fire giant here, and he is going to be pushing forward. Now we see the uh, population drop. Population dropped to 115 of 120. We've got 197 of 145. Grand Monster loses his town center though. The siege tower is going to be dealing some damage, and there's really nothing that Grand Monster can do um, to prevent that apart from sending a. Uh, a rag hero back there but it looks like he's a little bit too focused the uh, army of grand monster is going to be idle a little bit here he needs to move those guys forward he's trying to take down the temple he should be able to take this one down very very fast and then the uh the fight for this town center is going to be the big one see ooh, nice fire fire onto these villages oh unfortunately he was not doing damage to any of them right now but he's going to open up this area just a little bit these guys are going to be coming in but there's so much damage you've got the uh guard tower coming in which is an extra 40 percent pierce damage which is gigantic when they have when they shoot two arrows at once uh so but watchtower is gonna always oh, gonna come down before it gets researched always research the uh upgrades in the furthest building that's from the uh from the front looks like the uh third town center is going to be coming down but gold is still incoming for mage 104 population for mage um mcdonald's stronghold should come down and uh, the big question is is this gonna army gonna start dwindle to start uh, is this army going to start to dwindle or not 123 pop to 120 pop but has the damage been done can grand monster just simply recover here he's got frost he's going to be using that frost in, in order to take this town center down uh, the siege tower is taking some stuff down. We've got a villager does pop out here um, And he still has these two fishing ships which are gathering for him. So he does have uh, At least a little bit of food income to continue onto the villager production The uh, siege tower gonna be taking down this town center grand monster needs to deal with this siege tower All he has to do is click on it. Literally. That's all he has to do um, But it's not happening just yet that last watchtower is gonna be picked up these villages are gonna be falling very very soon Grand Monster or 110 population to 90 population of Grand Monster. But remember, most of this is in army. So it's 90 population of army versus like maybe 40 population of army. Maybe, yeah, maybe 40 or 50 population of army from Mage. Uh, he does have quite a bit, so it's probably 40 population of army. So uh, it's going to be really difficult. A lot of these villages are dying. Do they have skin, skin of the Rhino? They do have skin of the Rhino. So that's going to be very, very useful if he wants to keep this fighting going on. Pharaoh trying to pick off the uh, the frost giant and the town center is trying to come back uh, alive here as Grand Monster is now reproducing his villagers like a madman. How is his gold income? He's got no gold in the bank. He's got no food in the bank, but he is gathering some resources here. Huskull are created here. Probably should cancel those Huskull here. The only thing you really want to build at this point is fire giants. Uh, and Mage looks like he has defended this, but how many villagers does he have left is the question. Uh, he's, well, he's also got food economy on the water, so it's actually more than you think. He's got he's got plenty of he's got plenty of resources here. So, uh, Grand Monster's not out of the game, but Mage is definitely alive at this point. Gets his town centers, get his town centers back up, and um, and then he should be okay here. And maybe even if he just sits, yeah, he can just sit on this town center. It's going to be four town centers. So two town center advantage for Mage incoming, and there's really not a lot that he can do at this point. We do have one fire giant here, who unfortunately attacking the wrong thing. Should be using that on that 
oh, batch of uh, heavy axe. And we see the uh, nice marker on the hill fort there in order to pick off that other priest. And he's not doing it again. Oh, it's a bit sad. Um, but going to be retreating here with the fire giant. A little bit of getting that third town. Some back up. A little bit of micro getting the uh, fire giant away from here. But priest has been picked off. So now the fire giant can deal some damage. Uh, should just be able to pick off this siege tower though. Now we're getting the fourth town center up for mage. And because of mage's economy on the water, he's still only got um, Persine, not Sultan for us. So he's not got as much food income as you would think. Still, it's a good amount of food income, but getting that third town center up, fourth town center up is going to be very, very difficult for Grandmods to come back into this game. Unless you can mass like four or five uh, fire giant. And he should be okay. Unless Mage can then get to the Mythic Age through Osiris. But he, he doesn't have a Sultan for us. So he's going to be a little bit a little bit slow on that one there. Uh, and now the army composition from Mage is meaning that uh, Grand Monster basically has to go away from the Huskarl and go into Ulfjarl and Raiden Cavalry uh, in order to continue here. He's getting the villagers back pretty fast here. He's only on two town centers, but it's still coming back in. Um... What do we got here? It's like, it's 14 seconds or, or 16 seconds of villager depending on Dwarf or, or, or Gatherer. So we'll see. We'll see if he can get those out and he can stabilize or something here. He's got the fire giant coming through. We've got some priests coming out. Mage might want to just consider abandoning this attack, sit back, get to the Mythic Age. Um, you don't need to win the game right now. You've got a lot of population to play with. Um, just raiding at this point would probably be better than going going for the win. But there are a bunch of, oh, there's heaps of priests here now. This is a good amount of priests in order to pick off these fire giants, so he should be okay in order to continue this push. But the uh, the Yarls are out. So he's gonna force uh, Mage to back off just a little bit. He might wanna consider getting some spearmen into his army now or something like that. Um, and there's the, there's the tap out as army comes into the uh, the villagers of Grand Monster. Nice defense there from Mage. I mean, it was obvious what um, Grand Monster was going for this entire game. And Mage got the army out. He got the raids in there. He got some nice shift onto the back of food here. Got some nice kills there and got some kills over here. And Grand Monster just didn't build any army. He was just going straight for the Mythic Age, straight for fast Ragnarok here. And he got the Ragnarok out, but it was just so weak because of how much damage he'd been taking. He didn't have any resources in the bank. He didn't have any armory upgrades. A couple of armory upgrades, but really not that much. But well played there by Mage. One to one. It's the best of five. So we'll continue into game number three. Stick with us while we set that one up. Um, yeah. See you soon.